you just see it. Sweat and sweat and it's way too hot to be doing it is way too hot so we've got some helpers today some family and we've got a lot going on so what have you been doing i have been getting seeds i have been picking peppers and bell peppers and picking okra finishing up the garden and hatching eggs i've been getting chicks out of the incubator and now i've got to gather we'll leave that there because we'll We'll come back and do Ike in just a second. I've got to gather um, the rest of the eggs in the coop and restock the incubator again. One last order. La one last order. So how many orders have we been up? Have you counted the orders? Um, probably nine or ten. But some of them have been small, like four and five chicks, six chicks maybe. But then some have been like 18 chicks. So... Um, well, that's where that yellow jacket nest was, so let's don't walk by that tree. It might, they might have killed it already. So, we had a crazy yellow jacket nest yeah. yesterday. So um, it's been a busy day on the homestead today for me. Um, the kids have been up at Colby's mom's house at Cousin Camp, so they allowed me to come outside and just catch up on stuff. What else did we do today? What did a we do for lunch? The greenhouse. Oh yeah, we went to we did a speaking engagement today, which was a whole lot of fun. Uh, Colby is part of a club in town, and they have. Um, guests that come in and speak every every week and so it's like AA didn't hook the bottom strand back so uh, we were asked to come as guest speakers today so we were able to go and take a slide show of a lot of the things we do around the farm I took milk and butter and eggs and vegetables and dehydrated foods and canned foods and all kinds of stuff a meat bird so it was really fun to go Let's get really the fun to go and do that. let's get the cows up with the baby, and then we'll go feed Ike his last meal. It's like 60 outside, isn't it? Oh my gosh, it's like 160. 160. <laughs> well, today when we were we were at the um, little meeting, we were doing our little talk. We were talking to somebody there that had been in Arizona, and they said that it was 120 there, but the humidity is like five percent. So they were like talking about how they hike for miles and actually like hours. Never broke a sweat. Hey, while we're right here, let's look at this. Look. They said it was hot, but um. Never broke a sweat. Man, they said they got off the plane in New Orleans to drive back to Mississippi where they lived. And it was like pouring sweat. I mean, it's just such a different kind of What do you of think about here. these pumpkins here? They look really good. They do look good, don't they? Y'all don't sit on pumpkins. All right, buddy. It's almost your time. This vent's is hot too, y'all don't. That's it. Let me go get their bucket and we'll feed them. Okay, pigs are moved to New Forest. We're gonna take down the old net. All the helpers helped me get them in. We threw some old cucumbers to them and they're tearing them up. Ones we couldn't eat or ones we just left on the vine because they're played out. They're having a good old time eating those, look. Man, this guy's getting ready here. He's probably a good 250. Looking good. George, look how big he is, but he's way bigger than George. Yeah. He's getting ready, and, and these are the girls right here. They're they're looking good too. They're supposed to be bred. They should be having their piglets probably by the end of August, the first of September. Her and her back there. So, and then this one and this one will be about three months away, and they'll get processed too. This guy, he's getting ready. He's getting ready. You ready, buddy? Close. Close. Close to the breakfast table. Close. Look, I'm forging. Get that out of me. That's what they'll do for you, man. They'll clean your woods up. Look at all this area they just got done cleaning up. They didn't get in this area just because there was too many trees right there. Look at all that. Crazy. All right, so now we are making the long trick. All my help 
uh, left me. So we got the pigs moved, got the extra net put up for next time. Again, always trying to stay above the next cycle of moving. It helps us out. So we're gonna move the lambs now. So we were supposed to do this yesterday, but of course we got tied up and then it started raining. So now that's what we're gonna go do. But I have to walk, Misty's on the ranger. So a good little walk across 30, back, 30 acres because we're right here at the pig forest. So that means we had to walk all the way across to the other side of the lake in front of the fun bees who hate me. And then uh, into the sheep pasture. So got a little walk ahead of us. Okay, so we've made it across to the other side of the pond. You see the pond way back there. Now you see all this grass we're going? This is where the sheep originally were. And this was, if you're a faithful follower of the Max, you know this was where our pumpkin patch was not too terribly long ago. So we're stockpiling all this grass, kind of like a Greg Judy plan, and gonna let it grow. And it's gonna be mature, of course, we know that, but before summer starts, or excuse me, before fall and winter get here where the grass starts kind of stopping, then we'll put them back here so that gives us time to get our rye planted in the winter. So we're always trying to think ahead. Now, this, on the other hand, here, I don't know what we're gonna do. This is our sheep paddock. Look at this grass. Holy moly. There's grass everywhere. So we're debating on trying to put cows back here. The only thing is I don't have the water source back here for the cows. And cows will need water. So the sheep, you know, we'll pour five gallons, 10 gallons worth. Oh, they're ready to move. We'll pour five to 10 gallons for them and they're fine. But the cows, they drink 20 or 30 gallons each, especially our dairy girls. So we might put our beef back here, but then we gotta find a way to get water here. We got the lake, but I might have to knock a hole through some of these trees for them to get to it. So I don't know. We gotta figure it out. Cause if not, I gotta start bush hogging cause the sheep can't keep up. Which is a good problem to have. It's good to have too much grass not to know what to do with it. So that's, I guess that's a good problem. Sheep are in the new paddock. Look at this grass. Look at it. Unbelievable. Minnie's lost her coat finally. She, uh, Trump has got a little of his coat left and all the rest of them have got their slicked out coat. So they're looking good, looking good. She's, she might be, she looks like she's getting big pregnant. So that's good. She's supposed to be. Don't go girl, I gotta close this net up. <laughs> she's got a little wool right there, a little hair right there. All right, let's get this net closed up and then we gotta move this one again. it is hot so we've got the sheep in we've got the next paddock set up much you got an extra fence laid down there for next time so look at that grass it's so high i'm actually had to bush hog it i don't want to do that i'm telling you if i could fix a way to get water here somehow and i might do some rainwater catchment i'll put cows out here and they'd smoke this grass because it's beautiful all right, let's call it a day. I've got to get a 30, about 35 acre walk to the house, but that's okay. Beautiful day. Got a little, little storm clouds in. I hope we have a little rain. We need it. Man, is it humid. Hope you're enjoying our content. Hope you enjoy the vlog. We always got something going on here. Uh, tell us what you like, what you like to see, what you don't like to see. We'll try to make more videos of it. Guys, thank y'all for watching. God bless you. Happy homesteading, y'all.